Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kyler. Um, I am now over nine months on T, like nine and a half months, and I'm also three months post-op. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I guess I'll show you my chest now. Uh, hold on a second. So. Here's my chest. Um, it's still pink, but I mean, it looks pretty good though. I think the scars might have gotten thicker. I don't know if I worked out too soon or if that's just how it naturally heals. I don't know, but um, there it is. Also, uh, I still have acne on my chest. Um, the nipples are all healed up. But they don't really do anything. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, so. Oh, also, I get myself a haircut if you want to see. I like. I did it by myself. I shaved it all off except for the top. Um, yeah. So. Today I wanted to talk about dating. Um, and what it's like to be a trans guy dating. And. Well, basically, okay, I've been on T for nine months now, and I was dating someone pre-T. I dated her for, like, six months until this April, um, so I was just a few months on T then. And since then, I haven't really dated anybody. Um, I've hooked up with some people, that's about it. Um, have not been on an actual date, and I haven't really met anyone I'm interested in dating, um, so, yeah, I'm just, the love life isn't really existent right now, um, and I hooked up with this one girl a few times, and I don't know if she knows I'm trans or not, which is why, um, uh, I didn't, like, go too far, um, her roommate knows I'm trans because I was at a panel at school, you know, coming out to the classroom. Uh, but I don't know if this girl knows. And I still haven't found out. And I don't... I haven't seen her in a while anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, um... I also hooked up with some people when I was home for Thanksgiving break. And... Um... You know, they tried to, like, put their hand in my pants. And I just kind of, like, stopped them because... I was uncomfortable with it, and they didn't know I was trans, and I didn't really want to explain it right then, so I just kind of slowed it down or stopped it, whatever. Um, and that was a little bit awkward for me, <laughs> but what are you going to do? Um, one of them I might see when I go back home for winter break, uh, back to D.C., D.C. area. And so I think I'm going to tell them then after we hang out because it'll be a second time um but yeah I'm kinda of still afraid of the dating thing um not, I'm not afraid to date but the whole coming out thing you know you don't really know when to do it or um how the person's gonna react of course that's always a fear um and I mean rejection sucks period and it sucks even more if it's something you just like can't change about yourself. Um, and so basically, my plan for dating is to just stick with the LGBT community. Um, I, you know, kind of trying to date bisexual girls um, or pansexual, whatever, because that just makes it so much easier. Um, because they'll be in the LGBT community, but they still like guys. And, you know, dating a straight girl would be fine with me, but I don't know if it would be fine with a straight girl. Um, just because of what's in my pants, which once again sucks, you know. Um, but, yeah, so, <laughs> I am hope I'm not completely incoherent right now. Um... But yeah, I think it's best to date 
some of the LGBT community that is attracted to your gender and I mean with bisexuals they're attracted to either gender or sex um, maybe not necessarily someone who's gender queer or intersex I'm sure they wouldn't care but um, that's what I think is easiest and where was I going with that oh yeah FTM's dating lesbians um, you know I've heard this topic come up a few times and like I'm not gonna tell you what to do who to date but I would not date a lesbian that's for sure um, as soon as I came out I knew that wasn't an option for me um, because I mean sexuality is fluid but at the same time um, if you're dating a lesbian she's attracted to girls and only girls as far as that label goes and so if you're dating someone who's only attracted to girls they must see you as a girl you know that's the way I feel at least um, I would feel like that person was seeing me as a girl um, and it's one thing if you've been dating someone for a long time and then you transition um, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but I wouldn't start a new relationship with someone who identified as lesbian definitely um, you know if they some people decide after that a date like a lesbian dating FTM sometimes they go to saying they're queer or bi or pansexual or whatever um, but you know if they still identify as lesbian what does that mean for you does that mean you're a girl I mean they might see you in that way if they see you as a guy and they call you male pronouns call your boyfriend and everything like that um, and truly accept you for who you are then that's okay but I mean it's just not something that's for me um, yeah so I guess that's about it for dating really nothing that complicated um, if you have a topic you want me to talk about go ahead and hit me up um, I never get any comments or anything from you guys so hit me up with whatever if you have questions comments um, yeah see you guys later